So here we go with question 106. So the first thing we've got to do is draw the graphs of the modulus of 3x minus 2. Um, we'll look, look at the second graph in a moment. Um, modulus of 3x minus 2. Well, 3x minus 2 without the modulus signs would look something like this. A gradient of 3, um, or the y-intercept of minus 2 here. And so this would be where y equals 0, x equals 2 thirds. But what the modulus function does is turn any, um, when it's around the 3x minus 2 around the outside, it turns any y values positive. So the graph would look like um, the same unchanged when the y is already positive, but then reflected up like this. So this would be 2 here. The graph of y equals minus 0.5x plus 5 um, is a linear graph which cuts the y-axis at 5 and it's got a negative gradient so um, it goes down something like this and when um, when x is when y is 0 x is uh, 10. So we're going to get to two points of intersection of the two graphs here and another one here and uh, the points of intersection of the axes are 10, 5, 2 and 2 thirds. So here's a rather uh, smarter picture. So there's the graph. The first part of the question is answered. Now we've got to solve this inequality. The modulus of 3x minus 2 is less than the minus 0.5x plus 5. So this is where the modulus graph is below the linear graph. So that's this part here. So we're looking for the x values between those two points of intersection. So we need, the, need to find the two points of intersection in order to answer the question. So in order to do that, I'm, I'm just going to write down on the diagram what the uh, equations of each line segment are. So for this right-hand part of the modular, uh, modulus graph, which is the part of the graph 3x minus 2, and the other half is minus 3x minus 2. The linear graph is y equals minus 0.5x plus 5. So to find these two points of intersection, I need to solve a couple of pairs of simultaneous equations. The first um, point of intersection is this one, and that's solving this linear equation here. Um, and then uh, we get the, that value for x. We only need the x coordinate. We're not interested in the y coordinate. And then for the other point of intersection here, we're solving these two equations simultaneously minus 3x minus 2 and minus 0.5x plus 5. And that gives us x equal to minus 1.2. So finally, the solution to the uh, question is that x lies between those two values. So well, minus 1.2 and 2 with, um, without the equals here. Because this didn't have an equals here, then these don't have equals either just less than. So that's the answer to the question.